So today we're going to be making a crab. I'm going to use some pre-made red fondant. I'm going to roll it into a ball. You can roll it in some cornstarch because it may be sticky. Then I'm just going to flatten his back a little bit. That's for his body. Then I'm going to take a baller and make dents for his eyes. Then I'm going to take a tool with a nice pointy tip and I'm going to make his mouth. Then I'm going to set that aside and start to make his claws. I'm going to use more pre-made red fondant. Roll it in some cornstarch so it's not as sticky. Then I'm going to roll it into a log into a pretty thin log for his legs, for his claws. Then I'm going to take a cutting tool and I'm going to cut six little claws. i set that aside. Then I'm going to take the end and I'm going to just flatten it Flatten all six of them. Then we're going to take some water, which is going to act as our glue. And we're going to use our water just to brush it lightly on the end of his claws and arrange them as you would if he was going around his body. And just take the crab and lay him on the legs. And you can move them around to adjust them. You can brush off the cornstarch once the crab is dry. So it'll be fine if it stays there. And then take some more red fondant to make his front claws. Two little ball size. And then just roll it like a teardrop. And then you're going to flatten the ends like you did with his little legs. We're going to take some more of our water, which is our glue. And we're going to stick them under him in the front. And then we're going to cut his claw with our cutting tool. And open them up a little bit. Then you're going to take white fondant and roll them into balls for his eyes. Then you're going to take more of your water and put them in his, the little dents we made in the beginning. And then you're going to place the white eyes in there. So now you can take an edible marker and draw his eyes on. So that's how you make a crab. You can use this crab on a sea cake or any other cake you would like to. Now I'm going to show you how to make a snake for maybe your jungle cake. So I'm going to use some green fondant, roll it in some cornstarch, so it doesn't stick to your hands. And we're just gonna roll it into a nice long log shape. And we're, at the ends, we're going to make it a little bit like a tip. And then we're just gonna keep rolling. You can make the snake as long as you want. So now I'm gonna take the snake and we're just gonna give him some shape. And then what I'm going to do is, at the top, I'm going to take a small scissor. I'm going to make his mouth. And just cut it right at the top. So he has a mouth and it's opening up. So maybe he looks scary like that. 
And then I'm going to take a small ball tool, make some dents at the top. I'm going to take our glue, which is our water, and then I'm going to add some small white pearl eyes, like that. Then I'm going to take a piping tool, which has a round tip, and I'm going to make the little scales in his body. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to come all the way down. You can put as many as you want. And just come all the way down to his tail. And then with an edible food marker, I'm going to be using blue for his eyes. Like that. And then I'm going to take the same marker and just give him some color in his body. You could put as little or as much as you want to and just make some marks just to give him a little bit more fun look. And then you're going to let him dry it overnight and then you're going to have your snake for your jungle cake. Now I'm going to show you how to make a really cute elephant for any kind of cake. Just going to take some gray fondant, which you can use using white fondant and adding a touch of black and just kneading it in. So I'm going to take that piece and going to roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to just pinch at the top to make his head. Like that. Just keep pinching and pulling up. And I'm going to flatten his body just a little bit for his legs. I'm going to take that part and we're just going to cut down in the middle. I'm going to take a ball tool and just round it a little bit more so the edge isn't too sharp. Then I'm going to take out a little pinch for his little tail. Then at the top where his head is, I'm going to pinch out for his nose. Just going to pinch out for his nice big elephant trunk. I'm just going to take our little tool, make his little mouth so he smiles a little bit. Then for his ears, I'm going to take a piece of pink fondant. I'm just going to make two little balls. I'm going to make them into teardrop shapes for his elephant ears. Just take it and just make the tip pointed and the bottom should be rounded. So we're going to take that and just flatten it out. Put that one to the side. I'm going to do that for his other side also, for his other ear. So we're going to point it out and then flatten it. And we're going to take that. We're going to use our water as our glue. And we're going to add his nice pink ears to each side. Like that. And there you have your cute little baby elephant for your baby shower cake or any other cake. So now I'm going to show you how to make an alligator. I'm going to take some green fondant, roll it, use some cornstarch so that it doesn't stick to your hands. I'm going to roll it into a ball. Then what I'm going to do is take it and just make a big teardrop shape. And this will be for his tail. Just pull it out a little bit, as long as you want the tail to be. Just pull it out some more. Round it at the end if you want. And then at the top, I'm going to make his head. So we're just going to take it. I'm going to take my fingers and roll the top. And then I'm just going to bring it out a little bit for his mouth like that. And then I'm going to take little scissors and just make 
a dent on the side and on the front of his head. And then what I'm going to do is take some white fondant and make his eyes. Just make them balls and then just flatten them with your fingers. And then I'm going to take some of our water, which is our glue, put it on his face, and then attach his eyes. Let that dry a little bit before you make his eyeballs. And then I'm going to take him and at the sides, I'm going to press down and pull out his little feet. Then I'm going to take a tool that has a nice tip. I'm going to make little dents at the ends of his feet, like that. And then what I'm going to do is, you can either use your fingers or you can use a tweezer and then just pinch. So we can make the ridges in his back. And just go all the way down to his tail. And then you can make as many rolls as you want. Just pinch and pull up, pinch and pull up. I'm gonna do that all around his back until I think he looks good enough. Just do two in the front. Now what I'm going to do is take a green food marker and I'm going to make his eyes. And just tap it in there so he has nice big alligator eyes. And that's how you make an alligator for your jungle cake. So now I'm going to show you how to make a giraffe. I'm going to take some yellow fondant. I'm going to roll it into a ball. Then I'm going to pinch the ends. Use some cornstarch if it gets too sticky in your hands. I'm going to pinch the ends up to make his long neck. Just pinch it up. You can make it as long as you want. And then what I'm going to do is just leave that for a second. And I'm going to start on his little legs. So I'm going to take another piece of yellow fondant. I'm going to take little ball sized pieces of fondant. Take four of them. I'm just going to roll them into a ball. Then I'm going to just flatten them a little bit in the front and keep that to the side. Do the same thing with all of them. Just roll it into a little log and then flatten the ends. Just roll it into a log and flatten the ends. And this will be for his legs. So I'm going to take the ones I just made and I'm going to attach them to his body and we're going to use some glue, which is our water. I'm going to pick him up and just drop him right down and do the same thing to the other side. And now we can start on his little tail, so we're going to pinch the back pinch the back, pinch it up, and then flatten it. I'm going to make little marks and then bring it up on the side. Now I'm going to finish his head. Just going to bring it up and then after I'm done molding his head, I'll use anything that I have around to prop him up. But first I'm going to pinch out his ears. Pinch it out on both sides, just pinch it up from his head. And then what I'm going to do is use a black food coloring marker to make his eyes. And then we're going to make his nice smile with our pointed tool. Just on each side, make a cute little smile. And then prop him up. 
And if you want to, you can wait until the morning, let him dry, and then you can add your marker. And it's gonna come out a nice bright orange, but for now I'm just going to add it. So it's a little lighter. I'm going to add it to his feet just to give him more color, like so. And then I'm gonna add it to his little tail. And then make some marks on his neck, like so. And then in the morning you'll have a cute little giraffe to place on your baby shower cake.